To finish the protocol, there are many different dyes that can be used to stain the comets and there are many different ways to look at the results. You will have to choose the most convenient one for your laboratory. If you don't have a software program, you can use a visual scoring. We will briefly explain you how to do that. The other two options are to do live scoring, where you use a fluorescent microscope connected with a camera to the computer, or you could use an automated platform that will capture the images for you. You can then download the images and score them with freeware or commercial software. So how do you do visual scoring? If you don't have any software program available, this is how you can classify the comets in five classes. Five because the human eye can only distinguish between five different classes in an efficient way. So the non-damaged comets are classed as type zero. Then you have type one and type two, which are in the medium or moderately damaged uh, comets and then the highly damaged comets are classed as either type 3 or type 4. These are just examples of pictures. If you look into Google there's many examples of pictures that shows you the five classes. This is one of the classical ones and then based on these pictures you can get used which which comet belongs to what kind of class. Okay so let's do this now in real life. You see that this can be done simply in Excel. You can look through the microscope at your comets and at the same time you can type in the number that corresponds to the class of comets that you're viewing. So when you've scored 100 comets, you can simply calculate the sum of your 100 comets. So in this case you can see that the first sample had a low level of damage and the second sample has a higher level of damage. The maximum score you can have is 400 because if all your 100 comets would be the highest level of damage, which is class 4, the maximum is 400. So if you see a graph of visual scoring, it's always between 0 and 400. So this is a cheap and efficient way to score comets. When you're considering to do live scoring of comments, you can use any fluorescent uh, microscope which is connected with a camera to the computer. And there's various software programs that allow you to do the live scoring, both freeware as well as the ones you can find commercially. In this case, we're going to use gel red staining with a UV filter. And the nice thing about live scoring is, is that you can focus on the spot and then make the measurements. Most of the software programs also allow you to justify in case this is needed for the measurements. And then you can continue doing this by finding comets. There's also comets with long tails. You can focus live and then measure on the spot. You continue doing this until you have scored 50 comets per sample. So if you do duplicates, you will have 100 comets for each condition in total. When you're planning to use an automated system to capture your images, it's important to use always the same settings in terms of integration time, camera gain for all your experiments. So you have to set these at the beginning to see how it looks like with your samples and with uh, your stain. So it depends on different factors. So this is something you have to optimize in your own lab and play around with the gain and integration time until you get a good capturing of the images. When you've set all of these, you can start scoring or capturing of the images. Once you've optimized your settings for your staining and your samples, 
you can just run it and let the machine capture the images. In this case, we're going to do a two by two setting, so two gels on one slide. There's different formats or different systems that allow you to load eight or more slides at once. So when they're loaded, we can start capturing the images. So then the system starts capturing the images automatically. And in the meantime, you can do some other lab work or you can go and grab a coffee.